let's start off by thanking the Storrow Army for the massive, huge response to uh, Caveman 4 that was released last Monday. If you haven't seen it, check it out. We put in so much effort over two years into this one five minute video. <laughs> so the response is very much welcome. So thanks a lot. Oh, that's sick. That's so good. Now, if we're talking about DIY takeoffs, this is probably one of the best ones we've ever done. It's lovely. It's like a skate ramp. Running arm jump to there. Climb up. Turn vault. One in. Jump. So that's the second. The third is this plyo. Running from here, take off the wood to the box. Wow. Oh, yes. It's rare you find like four power moves in one run, and we found it. Nice. Yo, sick. I've just individually done every part on its own. And now I just need to link it together for the run. But I think I'm ready. The scariest part would be controlling that last jump. So I guess we finished the third caveman. We started scouting for locations for number four. When it rained or anything, me and Benji would go out in the car, find lines throughout the winter, stock them up for the summer. It was really nice doing that as well because on those rainy, cold, wet days, you get to see the spots. You can almost sit on it through the whole of winter. And, yeah. and if that idea is still good, it's that's good. a line that you really want to save and really want to go back to. This is our playground, our stage. tips and tricks to make sure you don't roll over bumps. <laughs> so he's tic tacking off the middle bit of that chimney. So right above that orange grate, there's a little lip. If you slip though, you go down there, which will be shit. I was really focusing on. Didn't have to think too much about the the, uh, the distance of the actual jump. But I knew if I got that step correctly, it would all flow. Impact wasn't too bad. I was in the air like, whoa, this is heavy. But that one wasn't too bad in the end. Three, one, go. Chimney tic tac, roof gap, take two, success. I got it the first time as well, but I wanted to make it a little bit smoother, a little bit cleaner, a little bit faster. Just all the good things for a, a run that you're eventually going to be happy with. It's going to be online forever. You're never going to get to redo it and put it in the same video. So make sure it's absolutely spot on before, before you call it a day on the challenge. There's a sort of like 
unofficial checklist to what we want in the cave, caveman line. The location has to look unique and special. The movement's got to be like a seamless, like difficult flow and at least two hard things, yeah. at least two hard things in one line. <laughs> then it comes to filming. You have to get like the perfect angle. You've got to see the whole scale of the spot. Obviously one take. One take, yeah, Unless no there's cuts. a special second angle. New day, new challenge. This one here is called the Hove Tic Tac. The reason for the one take is because you don't want to cut away from the action, the movement. The movement is what you're there to see. And if you're cutting halfway through, what's to say you didn't do that run the whole way through? So much easier to follow as well. And it's just like the complete line. One take works wonders. One take does plenty. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see right here, two rooftops. One Tic Tac lip divides the two. This is today's challenge. There we go. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Just need to overcome the last third. Probably the hardest thing that I managed to do in this caveman was the big horsham running, running rail jump. 100%, yeah. History in Horsham is about to go down today. Potentially. Ben Jezine up a jump, a running jump in Horsham, our hometown. Taking off here, jumping all the way to that rail. It measures out at 19 of our steps. I'll give you a bit of a side perspective on this up here jumping slightly down to this rail across here really really big i've been looking at it for like way over 10 years when we first looked at it it was like is it even possible and over the years we've built up the skill Woo! i'm like at that point where slowly getting warmed up starting to really focus more heavily on the task in ha hand. I mean, I've come out today specifically for this challenge, but um, I've just been warming up, concentrating on other tasks, other little challenges to get my brain warmed up, my body warmed up. I've got well, one more I want to tick off. Before. What's the uh, top three things you're thinking about while doing this jump? Stay relaxed, number one. I know I've got the distance. Keep my arms tucked in because it's quite a narrow takeoff point. That clips on takeoff, that's going to send me in a really weird angle. Number three would just be like, stay calm in mid-air. Like, we've been training this spot for 13 years. So all these jumps that Benji's doing now to warm up, we've done before. But he's just getting in the zone, getting in the right headspace, making sure all his body and all his mind is fully warmed up for the challenge. Oh, look, there we go. Another stick in a row. Once you keep reassuring yourself with good sticks, you start thinking, yo, this is looking more and more doable. Nice, stick with a forward consequence. Come on, it's five in a row. It's time for the ultimate challenge. The challenge that has never been completed in Horsham parkour history. No one has ever taken off from here and landed on that rail. Be honestly, next level shit if this goes down. This is Horsham history right here. So, I'm going for a round of it a bit here, but uh, it won't 
it belongs and he needs to get his cash together. I kind of don't want to do it because we're going to get kicked off straight away afterwards. Yeah, I feel you. It's there. Wait, this one. Yeah. Yeah, rolling. Oh, yes. oh shit! Oh my god, it's happened. Horsham history right there. Fuck, that was big. You're in the air for a while. Scenes in Horsham. Scenes in Horsham. Fuck yes. <laughs> oh my days. Best part of a decade looking at this challenge. And you have just seen it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yo. Come on! We started filming in early summer 2018. I had a series of bad injuries back to back with my back and then my toe. I wasn't able to keep up with, with you mm. during that summer. So you got a few clips in. Yeah, the, I think my first clip in the video was filmed like maybe two years ago. Running jump, cat pass down the slant and then tic tac over. In the video, Max did that and it looked too casual, but that's so hard yeah. to do. I did it again, second time, and messed up the roll descent. And then I tried it a third time and bruised my foot on the actual jump because I cam came in too short and like, that she healed the land. All right. There's a lot of stuff that we scrapped because of like those three things, movement, filming and location. All three of them have got to be spot on. Say if one, like the location was kind of lacking, you would like up the filming to make it a little bit better. Yeah. For example, the one in Horsham, that was like a ground run, which for cavemen is like, you don't, you don't, really, do. you don't really see. Yeah. If you're going to cut away from one of the three checklists, you've got to make sure that you've upped it in one of the other categories to kind of like level out the field. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not a caveman line. You just the caveman on your ground. formula. <laughs> yeah. The formula. And within that formula, within the formula, there's also more formula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could have made that one work. Oh. Okay, Mumbai police, what are you saying? Represent. <laughs> Where did this come from? I thieved it. Oh, same colour pen as well. Oh, right. How do your sessions together compare to when you're with the whole team? We uh, won't stop at any old spot. If we yeah. if we if we're together, we'll like keep hunting for the golden line, even if it means tra no training for the whole day. We'll just ignore quite good spots. Yeah, if they don't weird, offer lines, then we'll just like move on and just keep searching.
back here again. This is the second time he's come here trying to figure out this run. Um, I kind of did the same when I was planning my run. I did some stuff, came back, like came back, looked at the footage, and then kept coming back to this spot because you can just kind of make the runs better. He wants to now use the third peg, which is that one there. Boom, 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 boom. Palm spin that. Nice. A motherfucking one bang or what, son? We've done a two and a half hour perimeter of Horsham. Pretty much every borough in London we've checked out as well, like bar five or something. Yeah, and in between all of that, we're trying to hit every Monday for you guys with different <laughs> yeah. concepts. So it's like you've got a, it takes time. If we were just focused on cavemen and nothing else, it, it would be a lot. Two a year. Do two a year, yeah. easy, but. Can't complain, eh? No, <laughs> no, definitely not, it's great. We're in Prague right now, no complaints. <laughs> Calm down. Max is all the way over there trying to reset positions now, not get seen by this woman in here. Let's go. I just want to iron out all the little imperfections, but I think I'm going to settle with that one. If we want to get a line and there's security and they keep kicking us off, we will go back four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight times. And we tell them we will be back. Just let us do it now and we won't be back. Sometimes you can't go back. Like, yeah. You just got to accept that that is their take and you, mm. can't, you can't go back. Oh. Nice. Come on. Come on. Try it in here. One step here. And then 270 kick off. 
over. Ooh. Yeah. I've done this before, but the problem is I've done it from a completely different angle. I've done it running in from here. One, two. But now, right, now is the time to add in these strides before. Opens up a completely new challenge, a whole new direction. It's harder. thinking about this run for maybe a month ever since this new spot has appeared finally got round to completing the full challenge usually when uh, the spot gets changed it's, it's usually worse but this time it's actually a level up left this line too late and uh, it's now winter in England pretty much all rooftops turn into puddle and sludge we just fucking hauled this up here. <laughs> a long effort. It was perfect. We, we perfect, gave up yeah. in the last moment we found we that. We also need this to tie that wire back. So. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you'll cruise that. Oh, you're flying that. Caveman 5, what's the plan? It's happening, we're gonna do it. We've got to do another one. <laughs> Along the same lines, efficient movement, A to B. Every one we want to put a fresh twist on. And I guess that's the goal for the next one is still keep that old school, fresh parkour, hip hop style. Just that fresh twist is what keeps that, keeps it going. Didn't even see us. Fucking one bands! 
Lord of the motherfucking Wombangs! Star Army, thanks for watching Caveman 4 and the Caveman 4 BTS. Thanks for the response, it's been unbelievable. Big up. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe, obviously. If you want to see two videos a week, you press the join button and you get uploads on Friday as well as your complimentary Mondays. And of course, the clothing. The link is in the description. Also, we've got a, uh, a fresh new line coming out very soon before Christmas. All you people asking for the Star Attends, they are coming back. Stay tuned. Let's go, Star Army. We can't do this without you. We're in Prague right now. Prague, yeah. One of the best European cities for parkour that we haven't visited yet. Such a sick community. Got over 350 spots mapped out by the locals. These two brothers. These, these two, two brothers, brothers have spent there. seven years noting down every spot. Like we're just talking about our scouting process. We haven't got enough time in Prague, that's all no. I'm saying. But it's dry weather, unlike England. Come on. <laughs>